What is up everybody? Welcome to WP Living. In this video, I'd like to talk a little bit about the brand new default WordPress theme called 2016. This is not going to be a review video. I don't think it's fair to do that because the theme is still a work in progress. So it's going to be more like a preview video. Uh, what I'd like to do first of all is pick up a couple of the critical comments that have popped up about this theme. I'm then going to download the latest version from GitHub, install it on my test site, and have a little bit of a play around with it, see what it can do. So I'm on the WordPress.org webpage on the Get Involved section, where there is a call for participation in developing the theme. And right here you can see the front page, what it looks like in the blink of an eye. One of the comments, a uh, general comment and a recurring comment, is that it looks outdated. And this comment here, I still think it looks a bit outdated. The default theme should be more modern, more 2016-ish. And it's interesting because in response to that comment, Matt Mullenweg, the um, CEO of WordPress, um, says, for the folks who think it looks old, definitely share some links to themes you think are more modern. It could be good inspiration for 2017, which is just around the corner. And the problem is that when it comes to design, you're talking about aesthetics. So you're talking about something that's quite subjective. So it got me thinking about what should a WordPress theme do? What should the default WordPress theme do? And I put down a couple of notes. I think there are at least three things it should do in general. First of all, it needs to cater to the widest possible audience. It needs to open the WordPress platform up to new users, to existing users, to uh, users who are coming back to the platform. Secondly, it has to be a, uh, a blank canvas on which you can build. I think if you go for a radical design from the get-go, you're going to alienate far too many people. It's going to be too niche-oriented and so on. And it should also showcase WordPress functionality. Um, some people say, yes, it reminds me of 2012. There's a really strong comment here from Donna Fontenot. This is exactly what WordPress does not need, another boring snooze fest old school blog layout when wake me up when wordpress joins the rest of the world in 2015 and beyond uh that's a really harsh comment but again it, it uh, foregrounds that problem of the sense of outdatedness actually, when i saw it first it actually brought to mind a couple of older themes i must say uh, it reminded me of a 2006 theme called cutline it's still running you can still use it still download it but it's got these very familiar kind of bold dividing lines, um, which are a key design feature, a lot of white space, um, kind of two-tone black grays, tones of black, basically. So if we go back to the uh, page here, you can see the similarities there. So Cutline was developed in 2006, so that's almost 10 years ago. Uh, another theme it reminds me of is a theme called Modern Clicks. That uh, was released a little bit later on, 2009 or 2008, 9, somewhere around that time. And again, you can see this kind of grid layout with the strong lines, almost like a Swiss type approach to design. So yeah, so what should a default WordPress theme do? Well, what do you think? Let me know in the comments below. If you go to the GitHub page for WordPress, you'll find the 2016 theme there. If you'd like to test it for yourself, all you have to do to download the latest version, and it's being updated on an hourly basis, you can go to the right-hand side here and download the zip file, and then go to your WordPress site, and I'm here on my sandbox, my test site, and then go to Appearance, Themes, and then Add New, and then upload the theme, choose the file, and you can see 2016 master is the one I downloaded from GitHub. Up, uh, upload that, install that, I've already done it, so I'm gonna go back to my appearance tab, and there it is, you'll, you'll see it appear like this, 2016. Okay, I'm gonna activate it. Let's have a look at it on the front page of my demo site. There we are. And my demo site at the moment has no content. I'm going to import some dummy content to give us a little bit of stuff to play with. 
to do that, I've installed a plugin already that allows us to do that. It's called WP Example Content. I've activated that. It comes up here with a little option. Add bundle of sample posts. Sample posts have just been added. So now the theme has some content. Okay, that's great. But as you can see, it's very, very minimal, very airy, light, spacious. And what I want to do now is try and modify it. We've got this black frame around it and this empty space here. I'm going to try and add some images. So if we go to Appearance and Customize, let's see how the theme responds to the WordPress Customizer. Here it is. Change the colors. Let's change the background color to this blue. Let's change the page background color to a kind of gray. The link color, that's fine. Leave it as a blue. Okay, there we are. Uh, I'm going to now import an image. So header image. I'm going to add a new image. I downloaded one. The recommended file size is 1200 by 280. I'm going to upload my file. I've already made it. It's a mountain image. So let's crop that. Let's select it. There it is. Insert straight away. And if I go back to my test site, this is what it looks like. Um, so already in just a few seconds, I've completely changed the feel or the atmosphere of the theme with a couple of clicks. So kudos to the developers for really making it very accessible from the get-go to transform the theme with very little. We can then add menus, menu locations. There's a primary menu and there's a social links menu which appears at the footer right at the bottom. The primary menu is going to appear at the top. Save the menu. And now it should appear. There we are. The menu appears on the right-hand side here, Home About Contact. So in terms of uh, a preview of this theme, what do I think about it? I think it's very easy to use. It's very simple, very basic. It really is getting back to the basics of WordPress. It does feel, in some respects, a little bit outdated in terms of the design. It does remind me of older themes and older stages of WordPress. On the other hand, it integrates very subtly all the new functionality of WordPress in a very simple template. And what I also like is the treatment of text. Um, it's very clear, very easy to read, um, beautiful uh, focus on spacing. Uh, it's very airy. It breathes very well, in a sense. Um, it's a difficult one, isn't it? Because you have this fundamental problem of balance. Um, what do you do? Do you opt for something that is, you know, bling, bells and whistles everywhere? Or do you strip it back to the basics, to something minimal on which people can build? What do you think about it? What's your take on this theme? Do you like it? What do you think could be improved? What don't you like? Um, would you use it for your own site? Uh, let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time. Oh.